The Qatar Investment Authority has boosted its stake in Credit Suisse to just under 7%, making it the second biggest shareholder in the Swiss lender after the Saudi National Bank. Now let's bring our finance reporter, Tom Metcalf. Tom, one of our most top-read stories on the Bloomberg Terminal. We actually caught up with the QIA. They did not give us a scoop last week. Yeah. But is it, this is not really the anchor investor that, that we thought that Credit Suisse's first Boston could get, right? No, exactly. So their stake went from about 5.5% up to uh, sort of close to 7%. So, you know, there was a right shift. They clearly were buying into that and um, up in their percentage stake. But you know, if you look at the credits for shareholder sort of register now, right at the top is the Saudis. So they've got about 10%. Then the Qataris and one, you know, one-time big holder Hero Hero Associates is now down at 3%. So they've taken a different view. They've said, you, you know what, we want to get out of Credit Suisse both by not participating in rights issues and also we think by selling a bit. So they're down to like 3% now. They did, they did have a double-digit holding in their Hero now, so it's been quite a significant drop in terms of in terms of their holding. Yeah, no, no, no. That's a clear. Yeah change of strategy, yeah. which is, you know, if you've been following Credit Suisse for a while, you know, for a long time they were in there sort of saying, hey, we're sticking around. So that was a big change. OK, the Saudis and the Qataris with an important lifeline for, for Credit Suisse, and we'll see if that state continues uh, to increase. Tom Metcalf with the context, the important context on that Credit Suisse story. Thank you very much indeed.